Hey there, welcome to my video on, The Making of a Manager, by Julie Juo. Julie Juo is a seasoned leader with over a decade of experience in the tech industry, most notably as a product design leader at Facebook. In her book, she shares her personal experience and practical advice on how to navigate the transition from individual contributor to leader. One of the things I really love about this book is the way it's structured. It's divided into three parts, the basics of management, the day-to-day -day challenges, and developing as a leader. So, whether you're just starting out as a manager or you've been in the role for a while, there's something for everyone in here. Let's start with the basics of management. One of the key takeaways from the book is the importance of clear communication. As Julie writes, clear communication is the foundation of trust. And let's be real, trust is pretty much the most important thing when it comes to leading a team. For example, Julie suggests having regular one-on-ones with your team members to check in and make sure everyone is on the same page. This can also be a good opportunity to give and receive feedback, which is another important aspect of management that Julie covers in the book. Another big theme in the book is empathy. Julie talks about the importance of understanding and empathizing with your team members in order to build a positive and productive team culture. And she doesn't just tell you to do it, she gives examples and actionable steps for how to do it. For instance, one of the things Julie suggests is to take the time to understand each team member's individual goals, motivations and how they like to work. This way you can find ways to align their goals with the team's goals and create a more cohesive and motivated team. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, the book also covers the tough stuff like handling difficult conversations and underperforming team members. And again, Julie provides concrete examples and actionable steps to help you navigate those situations. For instance, when it comes to underperforming team members, Julie suggests to first try to understand the root cause of the problem, whether it's lack of skills, lack of motivation, or something else. And then, to have a clear, direct and compassionate conversation with the team member to address the issue and work together to find a solution. Another important topic the book covers is how to delegate effectively. Julie emphasizes that delegation is not just about getting tasks off your plate, but also about empowering your team members to grow and develop their skills. One of the examples she gives is to clearly define the task and the desired outcome, and then give your team members the autonomy to figure out the best way to achieve it. And also, to give them the resources and support they need to succeed. When it comes to developing as a leader, the book covers a range of topics from thinking strategically, to building a strong company culture, to managing your own time and energy. One of the things that stood out to me is the importance of self-awareness and self-care. As Julie writes, a leader who is not taking care of themselves will not be able to take care of their team. For example, Julie suggests setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care activities, like exercise or meditation, to make sure you are taking care of yourself both physically and mentally. And also, to take the time to reflect on your own strengths and weaknesses and actively work on improving yourself as a leader. Another important aspect of leadership is being able to think strategically and make decisions that align with the company's goals and values.
Julie suggests creating a clear vision and mission statement for your team and regularly revisiting them to make sure you are on track. She also emphasizes the importance of being able to think long-term and not getting caught up in short-term wins. One of the examples she gives is to think about the impact of your decisions on the company not just in the short term, but also in the long term. This way, you can make sure that the decisions you're making are not just good for the team, but also good for the company as a whole. Finally, the book covers the importance of building a strong company culture. Julie writes, culture is not just a set of perks or a vibe, it's the foundation of how your company operates. And she's right, company culture can make or break a team. For example, Julie suggests actively working to create a culture of trust, transparency, and respect. And also, to make sure that everyone on the team is aware of the company's values and is held accountable to them. All in all, The Making of a Manager is a must-read for anyone looking to transition into a leadership role. It's packed with practical advice, examples, and actionable steps to help you navigate the ups and downs of management. Julie's writing is relatable, honest, and easy to understand, making it an enjoyable read as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in picking up a copy of the book, you can find it on Amazon or your local bookstore. Let me know in the comments if you have any other book recommendations on management or leadership. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.